Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Now, welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 308. Uh, each week, uh, we meet here to answer the questions asked on the uh, SEO Questions community on Google+, and the uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. With us today, we have Micah fisher Kirshner. Uh, Micah is head of SEO for Turn River Capital in the USA. He's based in, uh, we're very close to Silicon Valley in the, in the uh, west coast of the US. He's a regular on the public speaking circuit. David Roseham is uh, uh, an internet marketer. Um, he um, has a, a background uh, uh, of being an SEO copywriter. He's based uh, in West. Sussex uh, in the, the uh, south of England. Would that be right? No. Oh, well. So I, I didn't have time to find the email, David. It, it, it would be uh, if I could turn my microphone on. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a digital marketer in, uh, in Little Hampton in West Sussex, overlooking the UPS channel. Well, it deserves to be overlooked. Um, <laughs> it does, yes. It's waving at me at the moment. Okay. And Tim Kapper, uh, uh, he is CEO of onlineownership.com. Uh, Tim uh, is based uh, 100 miles north of London uh, in uh, the metropolis of Corby. Um, Tim uh, is also a Google product expert in uh, um, Google My Business. Uh, local search. All right, so, um, we have uh, six questions tonight, and the first one is titled uh, DNS uh, Prefetch, and um, it's from Neil Cheeseman. He asks uh, two different questions. One, uh, the link rel equals DNS Prefetch, uh, href fonts googleapis.com shows a 404 with some audit tools. Is this uh, okay to leave in and uh, is okay, is this okay to leave in and is okay? Um, yeah, okay, well, it seems all right to me. You can see these URLs on the uh, uh, Dharm SEO questions Facebook group. And um, two, republisher, yeah, that's a blast from the past. Um, Google Plus was, I believe, good practice to have as publisher with the, the forthcoming demise of, uh, of Google Plus. Uh, I would would uh, Google My Business be an option to use as publisher or is publisher not really of any use slash benefit anymore? I don't think. Well, mind you, hang on. When Google Plus dies, um, it technically it just doesn't disappear. This, you won't be able to add to it. What's there will remain there, correct? That's what I believe. I think so. Uh, well, so, uh, it, it, it'll still remain in some form uh, for yeah. enterprise um, users. So it'll still be, be there and you'll still be technically a publisher so of that content. So it can stay. Yep. Fair enough. Anyone want to add to that? Okay. Our next one is from Cheryl uh, L. Yancey. It's titled Parent Page slash Child Page or Not. Um, Cheryl said, I know WordPress has an option to make parent slash child pages. So URLs will look like this, samplesite.com slash services and samplesite.com slash services slash plumbing. And you can manage sub pages via appearance menu. Setting up top level navigation and sub level or drop down navigation along with various menus like main footer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, my question is Is it necessary to do both? Create the, the um, 
parent ch child pages along with the uh, top level sub level pages or will a site be okay with just the top level slash sub level navigation managed uh, in the appearance menu panel um does a lack of parent child pages affect seo is there a benefit to having the parent child pages if so, is there a special or strategic way to use the parent child pages? Or is this simply one of those things in WordPress that's not really used anymore? Google search was a bit inconclusive, so I'd appreciate your feedback. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, parent child relationship should be used uh, if, for the most part, if it's appropriate for your business, depending on the number of pages and kind of subcategories and sub subcategories that you have. Um, there's not necessarily a direct SEO advantage, but I would I would say that it does help provide context to the pages. It provides information to the users about where they are if they land on one of your sub pages within the site hierarchy. Um, it can help provide a better uh, or at least lead to a better breadcrumb structure. Um, it's easier from a data analysis standpoint. So if you want to dive into data, if you've got a larger site and you're trying to figure out which parts of the sites are doing better or worse, um, those are things where then it's, it's a lot easier to be able to just kind of look through the data based off of URLs versus having to actually create a whole map out of that because you didn't build that in in the first place. Um, you know, so generally in the end, I would, I generally strongly recommend having that type of parent-child relationships and sub-childs and et cetera, but that's um, kind of a preference versus an absolute need. Thank you, Micah. Anybody else? Right, we're on to question three. Halfway through already, guys. If I can get my mouse to work. All right, so this one from uh, Alexander Peter Healer. Um, saying, what else can I do? That's titled, what else can I do apart from writing more content? Um, Alexander said, hi all, my subdomain was launched on October the 8th and currently counts six index pages, including homepage. No channel marketing so far, so brand awareness is low, relatively speaking. Um, SV for brand keywords is significant, however. I must be getting old. What's SV mean? No? Okay. Um, the um, question, um, why aren't I ranking for anything, not even the brand name? Uh, any, are there any message, uh, measures that we could take apart from more content uh, that would speed up the process. Thanks. Well, you know, what's the brand name? I mean, so, uh, um, <coughs> my, um, my my site uh, is online ownership. Uh, when I first started out, Oh God, I can't even remember. Uh, all those years ago, um, and you can have a quick search now. I mean, online ownership uh, applies to a lot of things. There was, uh, for example, in the UK, there was the DMV, which is um, uh, car ownership. There is all sorts of stuff to um, copyright acts, who owns uh, who owns what, which are all kind of government sites, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So when my site first launched. Um, I did not rank for my brand name, um, but over time, uh, as I, you know, started uh, building my building my content, as people started uh, reading my content, as I started developing my social profiles, um, getting myself out there, uh, people, uh, you know, my brand uh, became a thing, and. Obviously, when somebody searched for online ownership based upon their previous searches, et cetera, et cetera, um, you must remember that obviously Google tries to interpret the intent behind something also. 
um, that Google was now pretty sure that I should include this site for, you know, when somebody searched for online ownership. Um, and then Google, obviously, you know, Google's become clever. So if somebody's set, you know, added in the word car, then of course they understood or copyright, they kind of understood. But the general search query now for my brand, I'm there. So uh, you're not going to appear overnight. And uh, obviously, I, I don't know what the brand is, but um, oh, you said it's 100% unique. Uh, I should have read that. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's well, my answer is still. Um, applicable if someone's kind of uh, wanting to know about that. But as for 100% unique, ah, uh, that could be a problem, like David said. I mean, generally, if you don't appear for your brand and your site's indexed, that's not normally a good sign. Um, hmm. It's still, it's only October the 8th. I mean, Google is slower than a wet week getting organized these days. Yeah, true. Um, um, oh, here's the thing, uh, which, which I, I should have asked, but obviously I was never in the thing. Um, are your social media profiles uh, ranking for your brand name? So, you know, um, I don't know if you've decided to run anything. You may, may decide to have a Twitter under the brand name. Or you may decide to have, uh, you know, uh, I mean, if you're a business, do you have a GMB business page? Um, uh, but, you know, are any of your social profiles actually appearing? Um, and have you correctly interlinked them? You know, that, that that's a really good place to start for Google to understand who, who's who and who's what's what. Um, but building your brand does take time. And normally, a lot of the time, actually, you'll see your social profiles actually ranking uh, position one and two, depending on how many you got, and then the brand actually position three. But that just says you you actually need to be working on your brand. Um, you need to be looking at content. You need to start getting people into the site, engaging with the site. Um, you know, start start getting Google to understand that if they land on the Twitter page that they've positioned at number one. Um, that actually, you know, this is where it's linking to. This is the parent of it, um, you know, and uh, yeah. So it, it's going to take a little time, but you know, you, you need to start marketing now. Thank you, Tim. Any other comments? All right. So now uh, this one is from Nilesh Azar. Uh, Nilesh uh, asked a question titled. SEO three, three tier layer structure. Will it work in two thousand and nineteen? Ah, and then um, he, um, in 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 his actual comments, uh, he asked two thousand and eighteen. No, no, that's all right. When uh, the uh, run list was being compiled, uh, somebody used poetic license. So what is this this three layer tier layer thing? Oh, there's there's an image on dumbseoquestions.com. Oh, uh, was this this was the back link or the internal link? Sorry, Mike, it's actually on um, the Dumb SEO Facebook. Facebook group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it was it the back link or the the internal link one? I'm trying to remember. Um, it had tier one, tier two, and tier three links. Um, internal I, or external? I, I think um, external, but I didn't pay a lot of attention to it. All right. Uh, external, I mean, yeah, it's. I haven't tried to build that type of structure in a, in a while. Um, because it's, it's a little more artificial in nature and trying to mostly build that stuff. I mean, in theory, yes, um, you building, helping to build up your, all the profiles that link to your profiles, et cetera, in theory should improve things, but um, it all depends on the nature of how artificial versus natural it looks, how organic it is versus not, and um, 
So uh, I'd say time is better spent on your website to build up the links directly than it is to try to always build up all the other links of those that link to you. I, I found a link to the um, URL there, Micah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on my phone. This is going to be a little difficult. If I do that, I'm going to get probably kicked off from the here. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, I can figure out a way to do it, maybe. But it's fine. Okay. By the way, I must point out uh, people like Michael Martinez and uh, Lucas Regala, who uh, did answer on this one. He said, uh, it depends. Um, Michael Martinez, L Lucas Regala. Um, oh, look, I should be able to think of some more people that, that uh, help us every day uh, throughout the year. Um, oh, well. Anyway, their contribution is uh, gratefully received. All right. Um, any Anything more to add from Micah's uh, Brilliant uh, synopsis. We're on to question number five. It's titled, uh, Is No Open Directory Project and No Cache uh, Still a Thing? Um, they have oh. both closed down, have they not? Um the open directory project and that's the uh, the yahoo directory is it not so um you they will be node anyway whether you put them in or not yeah and i was wrong in in my um, when i read the question um um yahoo directory is n o y d i r not cache all right, that's um, answered, and let's go to the next. This one from Lauren Miller. I'm sure Tim will help with this one. Um, question six, it is. It, it's titled, My Content is Still Not Indexed by Google. Uh, Lauren said, Hi, can anyone help me regarding web page content indexing? As I have a website on OpenCart that has content on category pages, but the main concern is that the web pages are indexed and caching regularly, but the website content um, is, still, is still not indexed on a Google search engine results page. How uh, can I request Googlebot to in index the web content? Uh, do we have a URL for that? Um, for that question? Yeah. Uh, did anyone take a look? Did anyone ask a URL? Did anyone see if it was actually being in there? Um, no, I haven't. Look, I'll, I'll get it from, um, I'll, I'll get, get the actual question and see if. Um, okay, well, I mean, if not. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to look at, have you by any chance uh, messed up your robots txt have you disallowed the site um second one is if that's not there have you for some reason added um no indexes onto the pages with the cms or whatever um failing uh so uh, assuming that those two are all okay um have you submitted a sitemap to in your google search console and what um and and what does that say you can also use the url tool in google search console which will tell you whether it's actually been found um there's no search and fetch and search in the new search console is there or not that i've seen yet or found but anyway you can switch to the old version and do a fetch and a fetch and render in um in search console and submit your you know the your, your top line uh url 
um, firstly, Google will obviously fetch it and then show you whether it they you know it's what it will look like rendered, and also um, underneath that you can click through to the actual page and it will say to you if Google bots being blocked anyway, uh, for some way, shape, or form. So that will also show you if Google bots being blocked from it. Um, so there you go. That's like kind of a you know sort of the process to look at. Yep. Uh, yeah, the, look, the, the reason that uh, there were no uh, comments to that, Tim, it was only loaded uh, this afternoon and uh, right. included in the run list at the last minute. Um, <coughs> yeah. Um, Sorry, I, I didn't hear. Did you, did you say um, to fetch as Googlebot and, and then request indexing? Yeah, use the fetch and render. Yeah. So once you fetch and rendered it, you say submit, and then it'll submit it. But you can also click on the actual uh, URL that they provide, and you can click through to that and see, well, uh, that page then shows you um, what Google saw, what actually is on the page. But below that, it shows you if it was blocked from actually looking, um, uh, if it was blocking any parts of the page or if it, you know, things like that. Which, if your robots TXT is fine, you haven't got no follow on there, um, no index uh, from the CMS, that can be another way to find um, where something is going wrong. Thank you, Tim. Anybody else? Right. Well, I think it is that time, but I'll just click it to make sure. Yes, it is. Um, look, before we go, um, Micah, I, I know that you have to leave us very shortly. Um, how, how, do you have time to tell us about the wildfires in your neck of the woods? Uh, there are many. <laughs> it's it's, no, you don't, you don't think Tim Cap is responsible there? He was he was there not so long ago. Yeah, I, it's not his forte. He's got a, he, his ways is a little bit more direct. Yeah, I'm subtle. If I had wanted to start a fire, mate, I wouldn't have pissed about mm. it. And California yeah. was on there. That was my my modus operandi. <laughs> Hmm. But I think that I read today they're holding the line, which means I su it's not spreading anymore, which uh, I suppose sounds, you know, is, is hopeful. Hmm. All right. I, I don't think I've been, uh, I'm, I, I'm liking this um, uh, coming together of the, the uh, daylight saving in the uh, um, the UK and uh, yeah, I, I don't think I've enjoyed um, a um, one of these hangouts more. I always enjoy them, but this has been really fun. It's a pity we didn't have more questions. Um, look, um, we'll be back at the same time next week um, uh, to do this uh, all again, but. Look, we thank you for your interest. We thank you for watching what we do. Um, it makes what we do worthwhile. And for that, we are truly grateful. Um, that's about it. Until then, good night. Uh, I think that's going to stop it. No, it won't. How about that? Stop recording. Oh, dear. You guys hooked up with an idiot. <laughs>